So guys, uh, first look inside the Datex Capnomac Anesthesia Monitor. Sorry, the thing is big and it is not very convenient. So I did uh, remove the top cover. It is a very nice uh, aluminum plate. By the way, here is some uh, stuff for you to read. And here are the insides, well, the corner on the insides. It is the power supply corner, I should say. Main input here, main switch here, filter here, big uh, transformer. Here you can see uh, some filter or dampening thing for the air with a copper clamp, by the way, holding it very nice. Here at the bottom you have some kind of pump with a solenoid. Here are the electronics for it. So we have two, a stack of two PCBs here with some bulge modules and bulge wire by the way. Here you can see. Uh, it must be the measuring instruments interfaces. This here you have a main motherboard holding uh, CPU and uh, power supply and stuff at the bottom, capacitors and so on. And here the front panel board with uh, LED displays, you can see. So now the interesting part. Here is the main uh, air input from the anesthesia mask. And we have, it seems, uh, three major uh, measuring uh, devices. So the bigger one is uh, this one, a very long thing with a very, very nice aluminum body. So I believe it is some kind of a spectrophotometer assembly with a color wheel filter and stuff like that, according to what I saw in the service manual. Here are some uh, patents number for you. US patents 4428019, and Canadian patent 1177808. So it will be uh, interesting to have a look at it on uh, Google fan here. So here it seems we have another instrument with the same uh, patent number on it. So by the way, you can see small uh, labels here on the wire with uh, somebody initials, uh, quality control or stuff like that. And uh, Seems we have a last instrument uh, here at the bottom in a shielding. I believe it is the uh, oxygen measuring instrument. It is using a magnetic uh, process to measure the oxygen. And it must be this one. The two others, there is one for uh, CO2 and N2O and one other for the anesthesia gases, but I cannot tell now which one is it is. So you can see all the nice uh, air tubings with uh, stuff here. I don't know, don't know exactly what it does. I know there are some uh, dampening chambers. All at the bottom, I'm not sure if you will be able to see, but there are some uh, valves, electromagnetic valves here. And uh, well, it is almost uh, everything in fact. You can see this uh, tube here has some uh, shielding around it to protect it. There is an instrument interface uh, board. The instrument uh, embedded board on the interface here. So I will uh, need to investigate more and uh, probably do a partial teardowns, but I do not want to break the thing for now. But uh, I do not have any doubt it would be very interesting to see what is uh, hiding in these things.
really really nice this here you have uh, ambient air or reference air input i think with a cartridge of a co2 absorber according to the service manual so what else to see you can see the it, some regular electrician's uh, blocks here and for the transformer also and here it is a sealed input inside this uh, aluminium uh, can it is a massive block of aluminium and uh, something at the end here I do not know if it is a light uh, measurement device it will use a light process to measure the gas or something like this I have a service manual but uh, it is in German I have another one in English but it is not exactly for the same model it is for a bigger model with a CRT monitor so I am not sure it is absolutely the same uh, system ok so this thing here is really awesome by the way, I can show you the, try to show you the instructions at the bottom. So there are three layers of uh, sheets. They are uh, plastic sheets that cannot be removed. So it is uh, very nice. It gives how to uh, run it. Specifications. How to run the thing. I will probably remove them and uh, scan the sheets. It will be interesting. Second one, uh, calibration and alarm. For uh, upper and lower um, rates you can select for each gas. And the uh, error messages you can have or uh, indications you can have on the displays the last part is about the printer so while I'm in I will try to find the manufacturing date the transformer has an incredible name written on it you cannot see it but it is a Finnish name and it is uh, manufactured in uh, Guensu, Finland. There is no manufacturing date. Here, mm, hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I have uh, dead codes here on the clips. It is uh, 1987. 87. 88, 87 and here for instance I have a sticker with uh, 80, starting with 87 also and uh, here also on the transformer 87, uh, 35, 88 excuse me, 35 so it made in 1988 obviously so it is it is pre uh, 90s design so yes I was uh, most sure of it because there are no SMDs it is only through all so SMDs did really uh, pop up in the beginning of uh, 90s so it is uh, quite uh, old design already and uh, it is why this thing uh, is uh, removed from a service, but it does still sell for a thousand, several hundred euros or dollars when in a working condition. So it is still worth uh, something. Okay, uh, maybe I can give you a little look on the CPU board. I see an Intel chip here. I will see later if it is possible to remove all of this to take a part into uh, major modules in order to uh, make further uh, inspection of the thing so meanwhile thanks for watching bye bye